Hey guys, um, I have some exciting videos coming up. Uh, I don't have any lipstick on right now for a reason. Um, I've actually been like a girl and cotton stuff for the first time. And so I'm going to be doing some review videos. Um, I got this package uh, from Emily. I bought a shirt off of her from Depop. And she sent me some makeup that she doesn't use anymore um, because I love stuff like that. And in it, she sent me this Lime Crime. This one is Jinx color, which is like a brownie purpley color. Um, I have Lime Crime. I have this one here. It's, of course, the red, um, red velvet. And I love it, but it's not kiss proof. I, I've said this before. It's not kiss proof. Now I've read more about her and how she is, um, the chick who runs Lime Crime. Not a fan of hers whatsoever. So after these two tubes go, that's it for me. I'm... I'm not going to give my business to someone with that kind of attitude that just doesn't care about their customers, calls them fans and this and that. And just, I just don't like the way she runs her business or she conducts herself not for, not professional at all. I also have these two. I have this Jeffree Star, my first ever Jeffree Star. This one is of course red because I love my reds. Um, and it's funny because look at the difference in size. The, the Jeffree Star is a tiny bit smaller, but much thicker. And <clears throat> when you look at it, um, this part goes up a lot higher than this part. So there's it's a, it's much heavier as well, much nicer bottle or freaking you know thing. It doesn't have a smell to it at all. I kind of expected it to smell pretty, but it doesn't. But um, I snuck and I kind of tried this out a little bit. I tried it on quickly and wiped it off and the applicator is amazing. There's also this other brand called Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and I got this. Uh, I got it in black because I do a lot of makeup where I do like black lips with like two red stripes or you know colored stripes and I've never had a black lipstick so what I what I've always used is black eyeliner and I heard good reviews about this brand and they didn't have a good shade of red so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get black so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have three separate videos one for this one for this and one for Lime Crime um, there's another there's a youtuber that does these videos for all kinds of makeup um, she can obviously afford it. I can't, uh, but I'm very curious to see the lasting power of these. So that's the reason I'm doing it, not to copy off of her, but just, just because I'm curious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to leave it on all day. And then I'll check back when I'm going to bed after I've eaten and been around the house and you'll see, I'll see how good it stays on today. I think I'm going to start with a black just because it's what I have with me. So I'm going to make this my first video. I'm just going to quickly apply the black and um, see how, how good it actually is. I'm going to get right in there. Um, hopefully it's clear. See if I can change the colors at all. Okay, so that's normal color without contrast up. See if that matters at all. So I'm going to line my lips first just because I always do that. My lips are in horrible condition because not only piercing scars, but I love to pick my lips. I have a really bad habit of doing that. So I'm opening this now. Um, this is what it looks like inside. It's just a normal applicator. So this is all I'm going to use, what came off on the applicator so far. Focus. Okay. So that little doll up there is what I'm going to use and see how far that spreads.
Okay, so that is excellent, excellent spreadability. That's it. It's just the one wand full is all I did. And it covered my top and my bottom. One coat is all it needed. It's obviously not going to focus on me being that close, but um, mm -mm -mm, that's what it looks like. Um, <laughs> I haven't worn dark lips in a long time. Um, the color is very, very black. Um, you can't see through it. You can't see my skin color whatsoever. The spreadability was amazing. It just kind of it was really easy. You just kind of push it on and it just was really nice. Uh, it's still a little bit not quite set yet, but um, oh, it's stuck on my finger though. So that's good. That's a good sign. Um, so this is Pretty Zombie Cosmetics um, in Black Cat. So I will check back at the end of the day and describe what I've done today and see how how well it's lasted. I'll take a picture with my good camera as well so that I can take a before and after and I'll add it here. And um, I'll see you guys soon. couple of hours later, maybe two, three hours later, I've eaten cherries and a cookie, drank some milk out of the package. It's come off here a little bit. My lighting's not very good. It's still coming off of my hand. Not doing so good. I don't have a lot of hope that this will be on by the time I go to bed tonight. But it looks great while it's on. I like it. All right. So I've had lipstick on. About to go to bed now. Um, I've eaten cherries. I've eaten peanut butter with a spoon. I've eaten pretzels. I've drinking out of a milk bottle. Um, and I think that's all I've had today. Um, and it still does that when you touch it. So there's nothing on this finger. See, it still comes off. Um, I don't feel it on my mouth. I've completely forgotten that I've had it on. And when I've like caught a glimpse of myself in the camera or the mirror or something, I've been like, what's that black hole at the bottom of my face? Because I'm not used to wearing black and I've forgotten. You can see it's come off here. I'll zoom in a bit. You know, it's not too clear when I zoom, but you can see. coverage isn't so great anymore. Uh, I'm not quite sure how a touch-up would be. Um, I'll do a tiny little touch-up on one part because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to wipe this off. And I'm going to see it last because when I sleep, I sleep pretty still and I don't touch my face and um, I'm just going to see how it lasts for a nap. So I'm just going to I'm going to wipe this off so I don't really use much. So there's hardly anything on the wand now. I'll do half.
so you can see the difference. It can be touched up. I know some lipsticks, um, when you go to put new lipstick over old lipstick, it takes all the old lipstick off. I'm pretty sure Lime Crime does that, but I'll revisit that when I start doing Lime Crime. Um, you can't really put lipstick over lipstick with the other ones. This one, you can. Let's see if this helps any. So um, that is very good because if a lipstick's not going to stay on all day, you're going to want to touch it up. And if you can't touch up a kiss proof lipstick and you're stuck with it looking like this or worse half the day, it really sucks. And I've had a lot of lipsticks to where you, you can't put fresh lipstick over it and you can't wipe it off because when you wipe it off, it clings to certain parts of your lip. If you don't take it off, you look like way, way worse than this. And if you put new lipstick on over it, it peels it off and it looks like you've tried to wipe it off and then you've wasted your lipstick. So you know, that's actually really good, the way that it's gone on there. Oh, it's like totally not dry yet. Um, it obviously takes quite some time to dry. And when it does dry, it still remains a bit touchy. But so far, I really like this. I, I don't consider it a waste of money. I'm really happy with it. I know black lipstick's kind of, that's really gross, but I don't know. I kind of like it. And um, so I'm going to nap. If I have anything worth showing, I'll show it. If I don't, then I'll just put this video together and make it. I'll go take some pictures now. My camera's not taking really great photos for some reason. It's not showing up the way it needs to, but I'll try it anyway. Um, obviously in this picture, since I didn't take a picture first, it'll be half and half, but you'll be able to see the fucked up bit as it is here. And um, then I'll move on tomorrow to another one, probably do the Jeffree Star because that's the one that I'm most eager about because that's the one that I know about as far as pretty zombie goes so far. I would definitely try other colors from them. Um, well, suitable colors, you know, but, uh, I would get this again. If I could find a really pretty red, I would get the red. Um, I know that they have a really gorgeous blue. I would definitely try the blue and, um, not quite sure what else they have. I haven't really looked too deeply into it because I was, I wanted to see how this came out first, but oops, I'm quite happy so far. So I'd give it a 8 out of 10, I'd say. 8 out of 10. This is the result after a nap. I had probably a three hour nap, if that. Um, kissing all over Logan, just kissing up and down his arm and stuff. And um, uh, I ate some cheese dipped in mayo. <laughs> um, but um, you can see it's still on. I'm gonna show my whole face because I'm all blue. Oh, well. Anyway, um, you can see it's still on. Uh, this is the side that I did not put the extra stuff on. And you can clearly see. But this is the side I did put the second layer on. And it's still faded. But there is a definite difference. It's still on pretty good. Considering... Sorry, my finger's over the camera. Considering I was asleep and I forgot. I don't move around a lot in my sleep. But I do take a pillow and do this. So I sleep with a pillow up against my face and um, that's the result. So I'm going to brush my teeth now and uh, put this video together. So still quite happy. If I was out, like if I was old me, 
and sleeping over at a new boyfriend's house or something with full makeup on and worried about, oh, I gotta roll over and put makeup on in the middle of the night because if he wakes up, he'll see me and think I look really fucking ugly. Because yes, I used to do that. Like, I'd sleep with a compact under my pillow and I'd touch up my makeup and wake up trying to look perfect. Um, if I was still, you know, that person doing that or in that situation, I would definitely go. I would feel comfortable going with this lipstick because even though it's faded a bit, from a distance especially, it's on enough not to look utterly horrible. And by the way, since I showed my face already, the rest of my makeup stayed on quite well. Emily's eyeliner, um, eyeliner, my eyeshadow I've rubbed off, but it's still kind of there. My face, most importantly, looks bone white. Um, this isn't editing or anything, this is just me. But, um, my hair's all fucked up. Um, this is the, uh, Lunatic Cosmetics HD, um, powder. The HD Ready Matte Powder. And it has stopped me from being a really shiny. And usually I'm a grease bucket. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm Asian, I don't know what it is, but... As soon as nighttime comes or I get tired, my face just, it secretes grease. And I could go like this, and I could watch the grease squeeze out of my pores, you know, really bad. And I haven't put any makeup on. I've come out of the bedroom straight into the bathroom here. Um, I guess I should, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, and it is still on as far as I can see. I don't look greasy. At all, and I think it's actually what's helped my other makeup stay on, which is fucking nuts. I really love this stuff. It's twenty dollars online. They sell out quite quickly, but um, I'd say get it. I was gonna do a separate review on that, but I don't need to after this. This is the reason I went to bed with the rest of my makeup on as well instead of just this because I wanted to see how that held up. And um, considering that you get cheapy makeup here for thirty, forty dollars, um, it's well worth. Getting twenty dollars, sitting up for twenty dollars, and getting a way awesome, awesome stuff. So I will go put this together, and I'll see you guys shortly.